having any second thoughts about representing President Trump. It is the proudest thing I could ever do. So don't get it twisted, whoever asked me that question. I am so proud to stand with President, President Trump. But I am not proud to stand with what I saw in that courtroom. Ms. Hubbard, the I'm not president. finished. Let me just finish and I'll take questions, please. Last week, Donald Trump's New Jersey golf club, Bedminster, paid out $82,500 to a former employee who claims to have been sexually harassed on the property and then tricked into signing an NDA. Who allegedly tricked her into signing? Trump's attorney, Alina Haba. Now it's looking like even after this settlement, Haba herself might get sued in relation to her role. Alice Bianco claims that while she was working at Bedminster, she became friendly with Haba. Haba, however, was always on Team Trump, so when another woman became the victim of sexual harassment, Haba pretended to be her friend and give Bianco legal advice as a friend while getting her to, quote, quickly agree to unconscionable and illegal terms. Afterward, Haba ghosted Bianco. To clarify, the $82,500 settled a suit in which Bianco claimed that she was wrongfully silenced regarding the allegations of sexual harassment. Haber herself might be getting sued as well for fraud over the questionable NBA and hush money payment that she arranged back in 2021. In the settlement, there's a line that specifically clarifies that Haba is not exonerated for her role. It says, quote, the parties agree that Alina Haba is not a party to this release. So now the NDA is being made null and Haba, a lawyer, is lawyering up. And Bianco has evidence against Haba, evidence supporting the claim that Haba intentionally manipulated Bianco, who was 21 years old at the time, pretending to be her friend and casting doubt on Bianco's lawyer. Text messages from Haba to Bianco from 2021 say, quote, Hi love, it's Alina, wanted to check in on you. That same day, Haba tells Bianco to, quote, be careful with this guy, this guy referring to Bianco's lawyer. Just a few days after that text exchange, the two had several in-person meetings. At one such meeting, Haba allegedly told Bianco, quote, you don't want to go public with this. I've been raped. I can help you. I can protect you. The NDA that Haba arranged bought Bianco silence for just $15,000, but it won Haba favor with Trump. Months later, when Bianco tried to follow up with Haba with a question related to taxes on the $15,000, Haba suddenly was unable to give her any legal advice. She said, quote, I can't technically give you legal advice. That's the problem. Now, the Bedminster Club is trying to distance itself from Haba, essentially throwing Haba under the bus, saying that the club had no involvement in whatever it was that Haba was doing at the time. Bianco says that Haba was essentially a Trojan horse working on behalf of the club, but the club says that Haba was acting of her own volition and that she was just, quote, a member of the club. Can you imagine a world where you're trying to be corrupt and then you bill your time to the corruption? I mean, what planet are we living in? Honestly, the stupidity is amazing. If it proves to be true, I, I really, you gotta get popcorn at this point. Of course, Haba couldn't have arranged an NDA on behalf of the club without discussing the NDA with the club, but perhaps all of that will be sorted out eventually in court. This is all bad news for Haba. If she used questionable, unethical, and illegal methods to arrange an NDA, her legal acumen and reputation could be called even further into question than it already has been in recent months. More significantly though, Haba could potentially be disbarred for something like this. Meanwhile, Trump is about to be on trial for another case regarding a different hush money payment, the infamous Stormy Daniel hush money payment, and Haba is again being looked at for her involvement. While it's an attorney's job to defend their client, it's also their job to correct any legal records if and when any discrepancies turn up. Haba has not done that. She has potentially indirectly committed perjury by allowing others, like former Trump CFO and accountant Alan Weisselberg, to repeatedly lie under oath. She may not have lied herself, but she allowed others to lie on behalf of her client. All good things to keep an eye out for. Trump isn't expected to win his hush money case in New York, by the way, and he's already lost an appeal in which he was trying to prevent Stormy Daniels and his former fixer, Michael Cohen, from testifying on the stand. Cohen, of course, has already served jail time for facilitating the hush money payment. All right, that's it for me. If you got anything out of this, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out my podcast, Modern Context. New episode is out right now, and we're talking about the potential reunification of Ireland. Thanks.